I'm going to show you how we got rid of the clutter by building this and we're going to start right now. What's going on fam? Welcome back to another video where we're going to be doing a quick easy DIY. Now we just built our miter saw station and we got rid of a lot of boxes that was cluttering up this particular area. So this pile of wood is taking up a lot of space that we could be using for other things. So in this video we're going to be building a wood storage cart with wheels to clear up a lot of this space. We got this design from Brad from Fix This Build That. Uh, we'll put the link to his channel down below but he had a simple easy uh, plan where you just basically use eight studs and a one sheet of three quarter inch plywood so right now we're going to start off with the base where it's going to be about 26 and a half inches long and six feet wide So now that we have the base completed, now it's time to build the upright structure so that way the plywood would be able to lean against it. And then also where we could put some regular stacks of wood uh, and lumber in between it. So now that we got all the cuts at the right angle of five degrees, now we're gonna put a pocket hole on the outside of the A-frame so that way we'll be able to secure it to the floor frame. So now that we got the pocket holes on at the bottom of it, now we're gonna attach the dividers in between each space. I cut out a 10 and a quarter spacer so that way all spaces of the dividers will be equally spaced. All right, so we had a little mishap. I cut these at the wrong angle. I cut them this way when it should have been that way, but we got that all squared away. So now we're gonna pre-drill these and then uh, drill them in, stand them up and put them on the uh, platform. I like it. Let's go install this first one and then we'll just do the rest. So we got a five foot offset here and a five foot offset here. Now we're gonna drill this in. got to put some strips that's going across here so when we put the plywood against it it will it won't fall through if like say we have like a a foot sheet or something it lean against there it won't fall through you'll see in a minute so now we got to do the toe cleat the toe cleat goes at the bottom so that way when you put the pieces of plywood it doesn't uh, fall out or slide out so it's the next day, I got most of it done when the battery died out on the camera. Uh, what I've did is I put the toe kicks on here to keep the uh, plywood from pushing off. All we have left to do now, and I'm debating it, is to put uh, some sheets of plywood on here so we can stack stuff on here, putting some sheets of plywood through here. I think I'm not gonna even do that. I don't see the purpose for right now. Uh, what he did on his video, on his project, he put some handles. I might uh, put some rope handles on here to kind of push it along, depending on how heavy it is. 
Uh, we'll see after we get everything on here. Uh, but all I got to do now is just do the cubby holes so that way we could put the scrap piece of plywood or whatever type of materials into the slots right here. On his, he put it on this side. I like it more on that side, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Cut out the pieces on the plywood, put it together, and then we can start stacking some of the wood that's over here. Anything that I deem that is uh, not usable, that's too small or whatever, we'll just put it in the fire pit and just burn that. That's it. So we got this completed. It's a project that could be done in a day if I wouldn't have started late in the, in the day. However, this is pretty convenient and nice. What do you think, Mrs? I'll have a better opinion when I see how much of that mess behind you is on the rack. All right. So if y'all like this so far, make sure y'all give us a good like. It really helps our channel out. Now let's get stacking. So we wind up getting all the scrap lumber onto this rack. What all we wasn't able to put on this rack, we was able to put underneath the workbench. So it cleared up a lot of space over in this area. Now we're able to organize and start figuring out how we're gonna really stack our miscellaneous boxes and storage totes into that area. So I could see us enjoying this cart a lot. The things that I see will be an issue is I wish the base, we would have made the base a lot wider because we have a lot more plywood than uh, actual lumber. And when we're turning it, 
is uh, we have a chance of it falling off. So we're gonna have to put like a bungee cord or some type of strap for when we move it. One of the issues that I had with it because I was moving it around in here, I found that on this side where we have those pieces of, of plywood, it was falling forward. And I put this on there. I mean, you can see where it would have just toppled on me. Um, that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, but I think a bungee cord or something like that would be better to strap it better like that because that I mean that makes me uncomfortable so other than that I like the mobility of it everything I want into the shop I would like to have wheels on it uh, we still got some tidying up to do for the shop of some other items but this has definitely been a game changer for this shop it kind of gets rid of the a lot of the clutter that was happening right in this area 